Hi everyone, so I'm gonna paint a bow for Christmas and um, I'm doing it on a fake finger with a fake nail and it's already pre-painted, so excuse my, I feel like I'm cheating. Anyways, I have some foil glue. You can get that on eBay and it comes in all different prizes. Get the cheap one, okay. Keep practicing until you find one that works for you. I find that the one that comes in this bottle is the most best. When they're pre-painted like this, I already see how it's separating, but I am just going to make a swipe down the side, and then I'm gonna pull that swipe around, and just make sure it catches all around. And when this part dries, it'll be extremely sticky. So I will put that with a hair dryer and meet you back when it's dry. Okay, now I have the iridescent foil and it is clear and it looks like this on the back. It looks like water. Um, you can try and clean off the back if it doesn't come off for you. So I test it by going like this and if it comes off, perfect. So it is, it's coming off okay. I don't need it to be perfectly in place like that. So I'll just get it to stick as much as possible. Okay, that's how it's what you don't see in this in this that makes it so fun. So I'm gonna go into the middle, just making lines like that, little line. Then Blue again. Okay, now the basic bow is perfectly on. Now with a little bit of teal, which is blue and green and white mixed together. Get some on my brush, nice and thin. Then every place that the bow is highest, I'm gonna decorate. Right down the middle. I should have made that side a little bigger. No worries. And then Again, do along where it folds, and you can fix everything. Let's see how I did that? I did that on purpose for you guys. If you do the wrong kind. Just want to kind of like salt and pepper it through. It's going to just look like highlights. Okay. Okay. Now with the black, I'm going to go in and barely, barely touch in to the back. Now every place that it would be like wrinkled or not in the forefront, you would put black there and that just gives it more dimension. More black. Black. 
this is how I painted everything for so many years, you guys. So don't feel bad if you can't get it straight away. It takes forever to get this, but once you do, you can paint mostly everything. Okay. There's that. And see where, where I have too much of the white right there? And if you don't get all of this straight away, just copy me. One, one after, you know, the other. So, there is the bow. Now, um, I will make the gift color now behind. So I had painted it black first, and then now I have just a sheer color. Any opal color will do. This is uh, called pur Pure Ice. Oh, I'm sorry, Mint Dream. So it's a Reflect Mint Opal. So if you touch it on the black, it automatically gives it that look. You don't have to paint the nails that blue, you just paint it black, right? And I then use my brush for the polish and then just kind of stick it in there. That will make it all look outlined again. Yeah. And see any glitters you have, any um, other things you have that are just beautiful, this would be a perfect place to use them. And then they will enhance your design instead of define it. So you're not spending a fortune making these designs and nobody's asking for them. If someone asks for a bow, you can give them this for nothing or next to nothing except your time. So if you have extra time and you want to do art, this is a perfect way to um, start a career. And then everywhere that you build up, it will just be better. So I'm going to top coat, I mean, put that little bit of icy blue over the highest points of my design as if it's seeping out through. Okay. Now, I truthfully could start, uh, I could stop here. So let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. See how hard that looks? And it really wasn't at all. Okay, so now that I put the top, the, the blue on, I've not used white in my design yet. So white will be introduced and on the outside. Oops, too thick. Okay, so I have to thin my paint. Okay, I'll roll that on my finger, make sure. Okay, we're gonna try this again. So, so I don't mess up a line. I'm just gonna go in and just dot, dot, dot. Then, dot, white, thin. It's almost like a mermaid ribbon. Okay, and then black. Then white. Spin that around. Okay, I, I touched that, no worries. I will mix like a Reflex Gold uh, polish with some clear top coat. 
the Reflex Gold or Gold Drift. Either one works. Either one is the same thing. And then I will put a little top coat here on my plate. This is where they are. I'll mix them. Any top coat you have that's inexpensive will work with um, these kinds of glitters. Now, now, well, any glitter, there you go. On the tip of my brush, I'm gonna put the glitter into the bow. But see, I didn't want to put all of the glitter on the bow right away or it would just be a glittery mess. So this allows it to be a sheer glitter bow on a sheer, color. Okay, and here is the finished result with the top coat. And I will kind of zoom in and stuff so you guys can see it. If you copy this, please say inspired by Robin Moses. I don't know if I already said that. I was in a million different directions. And here you go. Come on. There it is. So you can add this to any Christmas design or anything you like and it always enhances and makes it that much more beautiful. And even though I feel like I started out with a cheater, I mean, that is essentially how fun and fast it is. And I am not cutting anything out so you guys can see every flaw and every um, mishap. And um, I'll take pictures of it with the with the um, matte polish on it too, so you can see it more clearly. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back with more. Leave comments um, in the comment section. Share, share, share. Get these to new new artists who want to learn, because that's all I'm here for is to teach you guys and have fun painting. Because this was such a difference between. Um, um, sheer and uh, matte polish I went ahead and I'm gonna film this with the matte because you can see it so much better with a matte polish this is exactly the same design but with instead of the, the shiny I have matte so you can see down into it so much better and here is where you can really fix your flaws and make everything as perfect as possible you can go back in with your brush and a little tiny bit of black paint and um, and just shore up oops well that's a struggle bus okay just shore up any problems like that and just and and that's all you want to do is just just kind of go in and short and everything you can see so much better I can see that I missed a spot right here and that was just because of the the light so I mean that makes a big difference in translation because what you guys see and what I see is so differently. And I think that was one of the biggest problems I had when I first started my channel is I couldn't get you guys to see down what I was doing as much as I wanted to. So this is one example and um, I might trim out the end of the last part of the shiny. So it might not, it might be a little bit confusing, but now you'll see why. So I'll have pictures of this and I will see you back with more. Bye.